Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Z-Crafting. My name is Eros and in today's episode we are going to check on Paisley and Pugsley, our two pugs, and see if they had their precious little puppy pug puppies. Oh my goodness, guys, guys, guys. I am so excited and you guys did such a good job with supporting Paisley and Pugsley and helping them have their puppies. Um, we said in the last episode that every 30 likes would equal one precious little pug puppy and you guys have blown it out of the park. We have over 150 likes which means we're gonna have at least five puppies. Oh my goodness. So I am so excited to go and check on them and I built them a very special nursery um, for Paisley and Pugsley to have their puppies so hopefully they are using that and enjoying it. So we're gonna go check. We're gonna go check. I am so excited. Oh and it's raining. Puppies. Did you make it rain? Did you make it? They, they didn't do it. They're fine. Uh, would you guys like some delicious uh, chicken and carrot with peas? There you go. Oh, wait. They don't want it. Eat my food. There we go. They're eating the puppy food. Uh, all right. So let's go ahead and get you guys out of the rain. Let's go ahead and move forest. Are you going to move, sweetie? There you go, forest. <laughs> and let's go ahead and go inside. And you guys can already start to see uh, the little puppy nursery over there. And inside that nursery are our baby puppy pugs. Oh my gosh, baby puppy pugs. That doesn't make any sense, but it makes sense here on Z-Crafting. <laughs> uh, so we're, oh, let's go ahead and close this up just because it is raining. Um, so they are inside and you know what? We should move, uh, we should move Lucky and Spots inside too because it is raining and we don't want them to be out in the cold, in the rain. I mean, we do have a little house for them in here, so we might as well put them in there. I'm just stalling. I just, I'm sure you guys want to see the baby pug puppies and I'm just, you know, derping around. Do, 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 do. Uh, come here, Lucky. Come over here. <laughs> and you can have a seat. Why don't you sit right about here? There you go, Lucky. And then let's have our wolves uh, sit down in here because it is raining and we don't want to scare the baby pugs. Uh, so let's go have them sit down. And there you go, Forrest and Daisy. And you guys can have a little bit more food while I am working with the baby pug puppies. I, I shouldn't be saying baby puppies, but you know what? That's just what I do. That's just what I do. Um, and I, I can see... I can see the proud little mommy over there, Paisley. She's very proud of her babies. Um, but let's go ahead and see. And <gasps> look at how absolutely adorable and tiny and cute her little babies are. And I asked you guys to give me a ton of P names uh, to continue on with the Paisley and Pugsley P name um, family line. And oh. Are Paisley and Pugsley in the same bed together? Guys, you just had puppies, okay? Calm down. You just had puppies. <laughs> Look how excited they are. They're like, we made this. We made these. Oh my goodness. All right, so the names that you guys have chosen, uh, we have a little princess over here. Look at that. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. And we have, let's see, Penny. We have Prince. We have Pepperoni. Hi, Pepperoni. Oh my goodness. And we have a little peanut over here too. Oh my goodness. The cuteness overload and their beds have a very uh, special sign and like something that represents them. So of course for peanut, we have peanuts and pepperoni. We have pepperonis. And for little prince, we have a fancy crown over here. And then for princess, we have another fancy crown. And for Penny, we have her very own lucky Penny on the wall. So I'm so excited and happy that Paisley and Pugsley were able to have their very precious pug puppies. And they're so cute and adorable. And oh my goodness, look at how tiny. And look at their little tails wag. Oh, that is so cute. And they're communicating. They are communicating. So we're going to let um, Paisley and Pugsley take care of their puppies um, here in peace in their little nursery. Uh, let's go ahead and close this up and we can go ahead and let Spots and Lucky stay in here. And what I want to do today is I want to work on our wolves. Um, we're going to go talk to some trainer Samantha and see if we can get um, any of these special bags today. And I think we should be able to. Yeah, we do have quite a bit of money. And we do have a total of five puppy training tokens. So if we get another puppy training token, we can um, exchange it for a greater training bag, which, ooh, that sounds really fancy. So I want to see if we can get a greater training bag today. And we're going to do a lot of puppy training and hopefully give our puppies some brand new skills. Uh, let's see, do we need, is it sticks to go ahead and check? Yes. All right. So we have some sticks ready and let's go ahead and see. Um, I think Channer Samantha did like change up her bags. Um, so they're not the same ones as before. So we're going to go ahead and 
Let's go ahead and take a pink one because I like pink. Pink's a good, pink's a good color. Pink is my favorite color um, after all. So let's go ahead and open up this bag and oh my goodness. So we have more training tokens. We have enough for a greater bag. That is so exciting. And then we have nine training treats. We have a bunch more um, chicken with oatmeal and pumpkin. Actually, oh, this is different. All right, so now we have some more dog food. We have a couple bones. We have a new toy. We have a carrot plushie. Oh, that is so cute. And then we have a few dog biscuits. Oh, that is awesome. Let's see, I kinda wanna put a carrot plushie like in here. There we go, we can have a little carrot plushie right there. That is amazing. And then we have little dog biscuits and then the training treats. This is what we need um, to help train our puppies. And I think we're gonna work on uh, finishing our, doing a little bit more with forest. Cause I think we give forest a lot of the puppy points in the last ups or the last time we did like puppy training. And I think we're going to help him continue on. So let's go ahead and feed him um, all of these. There we go. So we're gonna give these all the forest. Uh, and then I think, I think he's graduated past the training treats because there are a couple other different treats that we can get. Um, let's see. If we take a look over here, we have the training treats and then we have super treats, master treats, and dire treats. And it looks like we have completed Forrest's uh, thing because he won't. And welcome back everybody. Sorry about that. Sometimes when I create videos, I do not clear out my folders and I ran out of memory space in my computer because I just create too many videos without emptying it out and very bad, but you guys have not missed much. Um, I think Forrest has graduated past the training treats. He's now into super treats, which we're going to try to make some super treats today. So in order to do that, we're going to have to make some golden apples. And I know we do have some gold and we do have some apple trees around our house. So we're definitely going to uh, see if we make some super treats for Forrest here. Because I'm really excited for him to be in the super treats area. And then, yeah, we don't have any more, unfortunately... See, we only have three more puppy tokens so if we get two more puppy tokens we could potentially get another greater um training bag so this is so exciting thank you trainer samantha so let's go ahead and see if we can find some gold and some apples so we can train up forest a little bit more oh my gosh forest is gonna be a super puppy he is gonna be a super puppy and he is going to be the brightest and smartest in all the class all the classes <laughs> right next to Daisy and Poppy because I'm sure we're going to get them up very soon too. Hi horse. Hi horse. Hello. Random horse here. Oh yeah and since it is springtime we definitely have to change up our garden very very soon because uh, we are still um, experiencing our winter garden and pretty soon we're going to be changing up this garden into a spring garden. So if you guys have any suggestions of what type, different types of fruits and vegetables we should grow in our spring garden, please let me know. And then oh, we have a little maple over there too. And in during winter time, we had Frosty, a uh, little Frosty the snowman show up in our garden. So I wonder for the spring, what type of animal or creature do you think we should have show up in our spring garden? Hmm. I'm sure there's quite a few animals that would work very well for that, so we'll have to see. Um, but here are one of our apple trees that we have here at our zoo. So let's go ahead and collect uh, some of these apples. There we go. We have a couple apples right there. And then we're going to have to see if we have enough gold. I know I do have some gold right here, and I might have some more in the chest. So let's go ahead and see if we have some of those. And let's go in here, do, 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 and oh, Pixie, hi, Pixie, oh, you're so cute, <gasps> thank you, Pixie, Pixie gave me a berry, that is so sweet, that is awesome, let's go ahead and eat <laughs> now on that a little bit, and uh, hi, Pixel, oh, yeah, and uh, Pixie and Pixel's little babies, um, hi, Paddle, um, over here, I think we will be moving some of our mice to Nerine. Um, she has built some pirate ships at her park and she said she might be looking for some pirate mice or for some mice to live on some of her ships. So we might be moving up some of our mice um, to Nerine very soon too. So we'll have to think about which ones we want to send to her. And then I'm going to think of some other jobs for our mice to do too. I think I'd want like mice to be everywhere throughout the server. Little pixie and pixel babies um, <laughs> throughout the server. I think it's going to be amazing. Uh, but let's go see if we have any more gold in here. We do have a little bit gold. We have some blocks of gold and some golden nuggets. Unfortunately, the golden nuggets won't be enough for anything. And we have our kitties. We have Artemis and Luna. Uh, let's go ahead and move our puppies way over here away from the kitties. Because they're not, they don't like each other too much. They're they're not too nice to each other. Uh, but let's go ahead and change this gold into bars like so. 
And let's see if we can make some of these treats. So I think it was like a bunch of those. Actually, we need to make the apples first. Let's go ahead and do that and see how many apples that we can make. Oh, we can make exactly four. That is amazing. Uh, and let's go ahead and do this and then put the treats like this. And it gives you five super treats. Oh my goodness. We have 20 super treats. That is amazing. Okay. Well, it looks like we're going to be able to give uh, some more treats to maybe Daisy. Let's go ahead and see if we can graduate her to the super treats. So let's give her a bunch of these. There we go. And <gasps> Daisy has graduated. Daisy has graduated to the super treats as well. And then let's give the rest of these treats to Poppy. So there you go, Poppy. <gasps> that is so awesome. I'm so excited for Forrest and Daisy. Uh, but let's go ahead and work on Forrest and let's give him um, a bunch of these treats. Look at all these hearts. <laughs> this is so much fun. Uh, let's see, can we get him to graduate past this too? I don't think so. There we go. But Forrest should have a bunch more points um, to spend. He has 22 points. That is so cool. All right, so we're working on giving him, let's see, do, 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 happy eater. So let's go ahead and give him more points in there. So he is maxed out on happy eater and he's maxed out on fisher dog. And then let's go ahead and give him, let's see, pack puppy. Let's go ahead and let's see, 13 more points. Rescue dog, sh uh, shepherd dog, wolf mount. <gasps> Should we have wolf mount, uh, puppy eyes, poisonous fangs, do, do, do. There's so many different things. Uh, fall damage. Let's go ahead and make him, ooh. Let's see, Hunter Dog, every level grants 10% chance to make everything your dog kills drop loot twice. Let's go ahead and max out Hunter Dog if we can. There we go. Awesome. And then we have four points left, which can we, we can put one into Pack Puppy. And we are out of points. Awesome. Forest. Forest. Oh my gosh. You have so many more points now. I definitely want to go do a fishing trip with Forest pretty soon. And go fishing with him since he is the only puppy that we have right now currently that is really, really good at fishing. Let um, me go ahead and eat some wild mushroom risotto that we got from the Mushroom Cafe. And let's see, Daisy should have some points too. And she has pack puppy and then I think she also has puppy eyes. Let's go ahead and give her some more points and puppy eyes. And then she has four points left. And let's go ahead and give her... Should we give her wolf mount? Allows you to ride your dog anywhere at speed. <laughs> right, so let's give her wolf mount. And can we actually... Uh, I don't know if we can ride her yet. I don't know how we do that. How do we... Let's see. She might need uh, more points for it. Oh, we can give her some more. There we go. And... Allows you to ride to get your dog. Empty hand. Jump and click to get on it. Alright, so we have to click on Daisy with an empty hand. Daisy! Daisy's hiding. She's like, no. I am not a mount. Daisy. Oh my gosh. It's okay, Daisy. Uh, let's see. Do you have to shift? Hmm. Maybe she's not, she's not ready. She's not ready to be a mount yet. <laughs> we'll have to see. We'll give her some more points. Oh my gosh. Luna is very upset with us. Luna, why are you so mad? Oh my goodness. All right. So we have some angry kitties that we need to work on. So let's go ahead and sit Daisy down. So all the puppies can be over here and they won't be near the kitties and no kitties will die. Um, there we go. Let's feed our puppies really quickly so they're not interested in um, the kitties at all. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Give you all the food that we have. Nice. Let's go ahead and check. <laughs> Luna, why are you... <laughs> what happened? All right. So why are you guys mad? Is it because you have little, little uh, Tootsie Rolls in your litter box? Let's go ahead and change out your litter box quickly. It looks like this one's pretty clean. Um, but there we go. And then, do you guys need more food? I do have some more kitty food on me. So let's go ahead and fill your bowls. And these uh, little beds, they're still a little bit messed up. I don't know how to fix that. Uh, I think it's just like a thing that we have to deal with. So, you know, that's a thing. And then we do have to work on this area too to make it suitable for kitties. Um, because we were going to have like our puppies in here and then we're going to have our potential kitties um, over in here, but I've made the Rose Wolf Academy. Move the puppies over there so we can kind of like turn this area into a very, very awesome kitten paradise. Oh my goodness. 
Artemis and Luna, you guys are so cute. But I'm so excited that our puppies um, have, you know, two of them have passed the normal training traits. And I'm so excited for our precious pug puppies too. Thank you guys so much for helping Paisley and Pugsley have their puppies. And in the next episode, we will continue on our adventures here in zoo crafting. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!